So I just finished the rewatch of Game of Thrones. And one thing I noticed was the human-like qualities that Drogon possessed as he grew older, more so than Viserion and Rhaegal. Drogon was always Daenerys' favorite out of the three, and as such was positioned to absorb some of her personality. There are several instances throughout the series where Drogon and Daenerys were in sync, as if they knew what the other were thinking. For instance, when she was confronting the masters of Slaver's Bay, Dragon knew exactly when to show up and what to do. He even knew just how far to go and not to go overboard. And Viserion and Rhaegal knew to follow his lead. As he entered his teenager phase, Daenerys was unable to control him and it even became an issue whether or not he killed the young child. Though I have reason to believe that was propaganda. Like the unruly child he was, he ran away and did not come back until Daenerys needed him. He saved her from the heartbeat, but then after he took her miles away, ignored her pleas to return. But eventually he grew out of this phase and became like a man, ready to take on the responsibility of being Daenerys' dragon. He stayed with her and was the leader of the others. He understood his place and began to enjoy his duties. Like the times when Daenerys chose to execute people, Dragon seemed to relish his participation in these events. He enjoyed being the brute force behind the power of the Dragon Queen. There's even almost a smile on his face before he burned them to death. It's like as Daenerys became more and more unhinged, so did Drogon. There are other times where it seems that Drogon had an understanding even beyond Daenerys. When he met Jon Snow, he went from intimidation to familiarity quite quickly, as if he could tell he was a Targaryen. Whenever he regarded Jon, there was a telling smile on his face, as if he knew something that Jon did not. And when Jon was on his way to basically kill Daenerys, he let John pass because he knew and respected him, even though he was standing guard. And even after John killed Daenerys, he didn't blame John. He blamed her quest for the Iron Throne, evidenced by the fact that he melted down the Iron Throne instead of John, then flew off with her body in his grief. So. What are some other human-like qualities you've seen in Drogon? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you know the next time I upload or go live.